Today is National Signing Day. Local high school athletes are making one of the biggest decisions where they will attend college. Our sports team has been covering the big moments all across the Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast. Sports Director Shane Wright and Yanni Caracas joining us now with a look at the big decisions made today. Gentlemen. It's a special day for us too because we get to be a part of that day in, in some fashion. So Shane right here along with Yanni Caracas again. Cake balloons, a lot of smiles across our area today for National Signing Day. Hundreds of high school student athletes making in their college choices official. It's a day many of them have been working towards for years, a dream fulfilled with family, friends and teammates celebrating along the way. A big scene down the road at Dwyer High School, eight student athletes signing to the next level, including Quinn Bishop, who will play volleyball at Harvard. Baseball teammates Bradley Link, Matt Davis and Corey Goldstick are going to Michigan, Florida State and Emory respectively, while football player Kyle McNeil is going to FIU and Elijah Hopkins will play at Holy Cross. I didn't think this would be possible. Uh, my support system made it all happen for me, so I'm just here to do the work. They here to back me up. You know, I wanted to go somewhere where I could develop the best, you know, have the best coaches, best training, and just be able to become the best baseball player I can. I feel like Harvard, it just it really gave me the opportunity to get the best academics while I could play a sport I love. So yeah, it's kind of what it came down to, and I'm, I'm really excited. Samantha Long will play soccer at Emory Riddle, and Riley McVane will swim at West Florida. Over at Suncoast High, four student athletes making an official. Baseball player Nathan Stafford going to the Coast Guard Academy. Football player Cameron Scott to St. Thomas, and teammate John Cameron Jones staying local. Going to head to the national finalists, Kaiser University, West Palm Beach, and Zoe Zudans will play volleyball at Western Carolina. I just want you to know, no matter where I go, I got you, I don't worry about it, I got it. Okay. Oh yeah, some of the emotions running high for Atlantic's signing day. A total of six making their college decisions today. One to North Carolina a and State University. Two will go to Tuscaloosa University. Three deciding to stay together and go to Edward Waters University and HBCU up the road in Jacksonville. It's a great message, man. Like, y'all, we one team, one family. We all move together. Emotions overwhelm me, so I just forget all the right and forget everything. I'll let my heart do the talking. It is possible. It is possible to move, and it is possible to get your education. Speed. Whatever you've been through, it is possible. God is going to make it out for you. Big day for the Inlet Grove football program. Five players on stage to take their talents to the next level. Malik Willis will play at Campbell. Washington Ewan at St. Thomas. Kyan Johnson and Ja'Cory Brown will go to Lake Erie. And Tara Moon Lott will play at Old Dominion in the Sun Belt Conference. It's just amazing seeing everything fall into pieces. I've been dreaming about this day for a long time, and my hard work finally paid off. That's what we keep hearing. A lot of people, a lot of those student athletes just dreaming about this day. I'm sure their parents are as, uh, as equally as happy as well. Those were just a handful of the schools that we have today. We've got much more coming your way at 6. That's when we'll bring you all the coverage from today on the extended signing day coverage at 6, and we'll see you in just a bit.